Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the UK Vote Day. Tuesday, 15 January. Man, did we get it wrong yesterday. Holy cow, in Europe. I should have just done nothing. Dollar Max got stopped out immediately. Never was in the money. Went straight down. No idea what's going on in Dollar Max. This makes absolutely no sense to us. Also, our CAD Yen uh, short also cut again. So, we're starting from scratch again today. Kind of looking at uh, Sterling here. Again, don't really understand uh, why we're here or what's going to happen. I guess they're saying the implied moves today are going to be around 140 to 150 pips on the vote. So, could test this trend line up here, 130.32 in cable, if you're trading cable, which we will not be, um, or on the downside, I guess the interesting test would be uh, 128.06, which was kind of that funky point, uh, acceleration point on the move up. Just got to watch headlines here uh, and see, see how things go. 129.30, very, very important uh, on a purely technical basis in cable. But again, uh, we've given up on cable as a pair until this whole Brexit thing is over. So good luck out there for those who are going to follow it. Euro has done nothing. We were up at uh, 89, down at 64. We're just kind of fluffing around here, waiting for the next move. All eyes are on this UK vote doesn't look like there's any way it's going to go through I guess the question is is how far are they going to kick the can down the road uh, we also have Draghi speaking today 11 a.m. Um, 11 a.m. Swiss time no sorry 4 p.m. Swiss time Draghi is speaking today uh, this morning we have uh, French CPI and French budget, European trade balance, nothing really great. U.S. PPI uh, is also this afternoon, and of course the Brexit vote looks like it's going to be towards the end of the day. So we're in a little bit of a holding uh, pattern here, waiting for that vote. Equities caught a bid. I think surprised a lot of people, including ourselves. We will be looking to sell this as we have been 26.20 to 26.40. Um, right now we don't have a trade on this, so we're just sitting tight. Crude back up a percent, but nowhere near um, the 53.30 highs. We still think this crude has turned, um, and we'll be looking to sell rallies, uh, but we're not super interested here at crude at 51.25. Basically, we're sort of licking our wounds from yesterday's foolish trades, uh, and we're going to be quiet at the European Open. Try and get a strategy down. I think it's probably going to be Eurocentric today. So if Cable does uh, start plowing left-hand side, and things look ugly, uh, we will use that opportunity to probably get short Euros with the idea that any bad result of this Brexit is also bad for Europe as well. Uh, but we'll see. A lot a lot of news to get through. PPI and Draghi obviously will be important. The key point in Euro is 114.20. Um, through that, then the Bears really have a real stronger hold on this. Right here at 114.79, I, I think it's a tradable short. Um, but it's more neutral than it was. I mean, we really should have made a new low today already if this is if if the bears were in control. But right now it's just pretty neutral. So not a lot of help this morning. Uh, just sitting and waiting. We got the big vote in the UK later. Again, we got Draghi, we got PPI in the US. Uh, let's see what comes up. I'll check stuff on Twitter as usual uh, as things get more clear. Talk to you guys tomorrow.